it's time to update y'all. So much has happened in the last how many hours? How long have we been gone from the house? Since four something? Three something? Yeah, we left at four. Six hours. Outside of the event wiping us out. Literally. Mm, chaos, he's all good. Tearing us up. Or just back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Knocked out from six o'clock to like eight o'clock. Catch y'all up. We stopped at KFC to get some food. Shara got a kid's meal per usual. And she saw she didn't have the fries in the bag. So she got out. Like, hey, y'all didn't give me y'all fries. My fries. Da 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 da. This girl come back to the car and said, what? What did they tell you? She got me and they was out of She said, hold on, they forgot to put them in there. Let me go see. She come back and she said, we out of fries. But I can get you another side. Yeah, what y'all got? I honestly couldn't think. Like, I don't eat KFC like that. She named mashed potatoes, macaroni, string beans, and corn. I said, I take macaroni. Y'all handed her the bag with no fries. Like what? Like you wasn't going to notice your side was missing? I guess they was hoping you would just drive off and forget. Who knows? But the how great thing is, I was worried about having my goddamn Capri Sun. <laughs> you was. How's the food? Um, it's good. Doing and char chick sauce. KFC I mean. sauce. <laughs> it looks mustardy. Not really. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was feeling it's gum. Mm -hmm. it tastes, you can definitely taste like ketchup and honey mustard in it. But it don't taste, they don't taste like mustard. They probably do got mustard in, I'm sure. Hmm. We're gonna go home, y'all. Yeah. Get some more food and go back to the core. That's it. What's up, y'all? We outside. Uh, we're cooking. Today is Sunday. Yesterday was really, really busy. We didn't really even get a chance to vlog like that. But we was outside, y'all. We was busy at the event we went to and at um the club at a normal spot we was busy 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 it was some people out here they was having like a little car club thing like yeah it was a lot going on we sold out almost everything like we don't got nothing left but salmon tilapia and shrimp that's it oh we got white in and i was just thinking my corner store and they right there but yeah so we out here we found some fish we're gonna go live i'm gonna check and see if tiktok unbanned me with a hating ass but yeah let's get into it Okay, y'all, what's up? Today is Tuesday. We don't got nothing to eat at the house. So we at Trader Joe's to get us some groceries. And I'm gonna stop at Whole Foods and then we'll go by the market and get some collard greens. And yeah, so let's see what they got. Don't really see nothing new. This is same old, same old. Okay, y'all, I figured out why the camera was looking like that because I had it on HD mode, which don't be doing good when I be walking. But let's see what they got over here in the new section. They got some Berkey clusters, which is caramel, dark chocolate sea salt. They got dark chocolate almonds, biscotti, deodorant, some popcorn, collagen. I need to be getting that. Cereal bars, candles, and disinfectant. Let's see what these candles smell like. This one is raspberry and roses, rhubarb and bamboo, and lemon verbena. Mmm, that's the raspberry and rose. The 
is lemon. Mmm. Smells really good. And it's the rhubarb and bamboo. Mmm. Mmm. It's kind of sweet, but I like it. Okay, it don't have the ingredients on it, but it says it got 10 hours of burn time. Mm -hmm. And then they got this great food. Mm. You gotta get this. This smells so good. Okay, y'all. So they got lemon sheet cake. Let's see. I saw this on TikTok, literally, and I love lemon, so we're gonna try it. Okay, let's see what we think. Uh. It's good. But I can't get it because I don't even know cake. And then we're gonna get some tzatziki because we're going to have jollos. So the tzatziki is $3.99 right here. So let's get this. So they got tzatziki in here for $3.99, but I'm trying to see if Whole Foods got it for cheaper, so I'm gonna look on Whole Foods app. Okay, so it's a better deal here. So we're gonna get the tzatziki here. And then we just need broccoli to go with this bulgogi. And um, I don't see any other sauces or anything else over here that I would get. I might get this pizza though. So we can have pizza um, one day. I wonder how long it lasts in the fridge is what I need to be seeing. Okay, it is fire in a couple of days. They say on the 29th, which is this week. So we could definitely make it um, this week. So we need some pizza sauce. So let's go get some of that. They moved the bread in Trader Joe's, so it's over here now. So we're just looking for pitas. And I think pitas are down here. Okay, so here they go, right here. Original pita pockets. And now we just need broccolini, noodles, and spaghetti sauce. Okay, and then we're gonna get the spaghetti sauce for the pizza. And then we're gonna look for some broccolini. And I'll probably have to get some noodles from Whole Foods to go with the um to go with the beef bagogi. And then we got our broccoli right here for our beef bagogi. And that's everything we need, y'all. Never heard of them. How interesting. Okay, y'all. We want to Whole Foods now to get some water to repair my water. I drank the reverse osmosis water and probably get me a little salad from the salad bar. Then we got to go to the market downtown, get some collard greens and a seasoning, and then we're going to go to Wayfield and get five for 25 for the meat. And then we're going home, so let's rock. Okay, y'all, we in Whole Foods. They got half of the food. I don't wonder if you can buy it like that. Hmm. This little ugly fruit so freaking good, y'all. Oh my gosh, it's so good. 
y'all the music been bumping lately like jeez i hope y'all gonna be able to hear me per usual seafood looking good now i wonder which one of these noodles will go good with the bagogi hmm So I'm gonna get these udon noodles right here. And then we're gonna look for this sauce right here. Some bagogi sauce. Right here. Okay y'all, let's refill the water. Now this is the, all the types of water that they have. I like to do the reverse osmosis, but I think today I'm gonna try the high pH water. Y'all know the hot bar is my favorite part. Let's see what they got today. <clears throat> Squash, veggies, vegan chicken stir fries, sweet potatoes. You know this Atlanta, so they got wings. Sweet potato tater tots, I've never seen that before. Meatloaf, cauliflower, chicken and potato We got 47 percent so that'll last so we just got here to the doctor's office i need to read the papers and find out like what sweet number it is and stuff so hold on okay y'all i don't see it on the thing but we're just gonna go to the third floor but i don't see it on the paper hold on. so the sweet is 302 so we're just gonna go to the third floor. It's called genetic risk assessment. <clears throat> so yeah, I just got my insurance card in the mail today. Like, ain't that crazy? Right before I walked out the door, I seen some mail in my insurance card. Okay, this is it. Okay, y'all, we are done. I also, while I was here, had to get blood work. They had to do both of my arms because um, the right vein didn't have one of the blood coming out or whatever. So she had to do my left arm as well. So now we're gonna go home. It's 40 minutes to get home. I'm gonna stop. I mean, I'm not stopping. <laughs> I'm going to this event tonight for Invest Atlanta for women-owned businesses that need access to funding. So we're gonna go there 
um yeah so the testing it was interesting they just ask you questions about your family history and if you got cancer and stuff like that so if somebody in your family have cancer you know especially a parent you know y'all should look into getting tested really like you have nothing to lose um by finding out you know if you have certain traits or whatever that are hereditary so i ended up having to call my mom because of course she's the one that has it and i called my aunt because she has it as well so i ended up having to call them and get this information from them um hold on y'all okay y'all i had to find the um what is wrong with the camera? I had to find the um, parking ticket. But anyway, yeah, so I had to call my aunt and my mom to get some information from them. But yeah, like a lot of things are <coughs> genetic and these things can be found out through testing. And when, when one family member does it and we all upload it into the system, they use like a universal database for this stuff. So you are able to say if you want them to be able to share your information with other family members. So I put, yeah, they can share my information with like anybody. It's nothing like personal, like, oh, your social and all that stuff they're going to share. It's just they're going to share, like, if you have positive for this trade or that trade or whatever. So if somebody else in your family is coming up, they can connect the family tree and try to find the similarities and see exactly who may be affected by it. That's the whole goal of it. So, yeah, I was able to ask my aunt some questions. My mama, she was kind of a little bit confused. I think that sometimes she just gets, like, overwhelmed with, you know, the information because it's a lot of information to take in. It's a lot that they're talking about and telling you. So, <coughs> yeah, I think my mama was just a little bit overwhelmed. So, yeah, um, we just got that. The blood work, yeah, she was doing on that arm and then only one bottle of blood came out. She needed to get two arms, so they came to this arm. And then, yeah. Um, y'all know I had a flu last week, so I know the vitamins levels is gonna be low and all of that stuff. Girl, this man using a stick at the window. But anyway, y'all, so she told me basically that she, the genetic counselor was like, I don't, I'm not gonna say I recommend for you to get the genetic testing. Oh my God, it's $3. This need to be free. 21 to 60 minutes is $3. It's gonna be $4 because I was in here 61 to 120 minutes. Don't make no goddamn sense. How I got to pay to park at the hospital? This hospital ain't downtown. So back to what we was talking about. Yeah. Um. I don't even know what I was talking about. I lost my fucking train of thought. Let's see. Hey. Hello. Gonna be full. Oh dollars. It go to the dollar. On top of the $15 copay, then I just found out they charged me $30 for going to urgent care and getting a flu test. $30? That's more than what I almost more than what I pay every month for my insurance. The insurance only $50 a month. $30? Edna. Y'all doing y'all acting real bad. <laughs> y'all acting real bad. Um hold on, y'all. Let me get my thing back. Yeah, y'all, but I was saying that I feel like my mom gets overwhelmed, which is a lot to understand and, you know, take in with this type of, you know, this condition. <clears throat> and it's a lot of new things that they tell you, a lot of science, and then, you know, you have the emotional part or whatever. But if you are in a position to get the testing, if you have insurance, stuff like that, get it. Get the insurance. Get insurance, go get your test to see if something's wrong with you, see if it's something that you can prevent. You know, it's all about early prevention. Um, of course, a lot of the stuff that be happening to us is preventable, but you know, a lot of it is preventable with lifestyle changes, like just products we use, food we consume, that kind of stuff can help prevent 
and decrease our chances of cancer so like i started with a lot of holistic stuff like i'll be trying to buy all organic stuff now even though organic is still not a guarantee but it's at least i'm putting in the effort you know what i'm saying for using less chemicals and stuff um definitely with like body products like our skin is the largest organ like think about the stuff that our skin absorbs like the lotions that you use the soaps um stuff like that like i only really like perfume oils i don't really use bath and body work stuff like that anymore i have a lot of the sprays and stuff but i'm not gonna buy anymore like what i have is just i'll use it till it runs out and then like that'll be it not gonna buy anymore not gonna you know use that kind of stuff no more i'll stick to you know my black soap and if i use like a fragrance soap you know occasionally I can use stuff like that but I really don't want to like I'm finna go across the street to this damn Panera y'all I'm so goddamn hungry I'm just looking around I don't ever come out here I'm in um Austell I came to the doctor in Austell I don't ever come out here but I mean that's irrelevant anyway I'm gonna get ready and go to that event it's an event I'm going to tonight it starts at 6 I'll tell you about that later, but like, I'll be all over the place. Back to the subject. So, like, if you had an opportunity to get it uh, tested for the cancer, you know, you should get it, look into it. Um, you know, some people say they don't want to know, ignorance is bliss or whatever. I want to know because if it's something I could do to help, you know, myself, besides what I do know, I'm always open to more knowledge, more information, stuff like that. Right. So, if there's something I could do to help nice myself. I want to help myself so i want to know and find out but they said that i don't have a gene nobody knows what's going on on the daddy side they're gonna ask you about like both sides of your family of course you know i mean y'all probably don't know i do not fuck with my daddy or his people i don't know them folks so i wouldn't know anything they have going on on their side of the family and none of my siblings who do talk to them have told me that he has cancer or anybody over there have cancer but i will ask the granddad my granddad i will ask him um what he knows but as far as i know yeah as far as i know i guess i'm straight don't nobody have nothing over there on that side but i only know my mama's side that's you know my main family i have siblings and stuff of course i talk to them but like my main family that i claim who i'm always talking about is my mama's side like I don't know, like, the aunts and uncles and all of them people over there on the daddy side like that. But I don't got nothing against them. But anyway, um, yeah. So we at Panera. Let's see what they got. Look at this green goddess Capri smell. That looks good. All right. One moment. Okay. Let's see. Okay, y'all, I got the green goddess cob and a half of this bacon avocado milk sandwich that I don't even know if I'm going to be able to even eat because the bread usually be nasty as hell. Back to what we were talking about, y'all. Um, We're going to go to this event tonight for Invest Atlanta. It's having an event for the city of Atlanta for women-owned businesses that um need access to capital and funding so i'm gonna go to the event mama's saying i should dress up i'm gonna have to throw something on real quick literally real quick but yeah i'm gonna go see how it's gonna go and hopefully we can get some money and get us a fucking food truck because that's what real girls need okay y'all we are on our way to the event at pullman yards I'm running behind. When I get here, I'm going to have to post me a little reel real quick before I walk in. Well, I'm going to just have to record the voiceover for the reel real quick. Um, then I'll be able to go in. I just threw something on, y'all. Like I said, I don't have that many business clothes. Put a little BB cream on. Little highlight. Little light contour. Like, this is like a 20-minute beat. Threw a little lip liner on. Mm, not even liner. Child, I just put some on. Um, brown lipstick and then put some pink NYX lipstick in the middle just try to do a little song you know my clothes too big so yeah y'all I'm just running a little late it starts at 6 and it's now 6 or 7 
and I won't get that to 628. But we on the way. Y'all, while I'm at the wrong place, I came to pull me yards, and this had Pittsburgh yards. Pittsburgh yards is right by my damn house. But it's okay, we only 12 minutes away. But it took 30 to get here. But it's all right. Let's go. Okay, y'all, we made it. Let me catch the door. All right, we real late, but we here. <laughs> 